Hello, welcome. My name is Tonka Yokelova. I'm an instructional designer at SUNY Empire State College. Today we're going to be talking about effective network of universal design for learning. Imagine a candle's flame, warm glow, flickering light that illuminates the room around it. You want to stay in that room because the flame makes you feel comfortable. As an instructor or anybody else on teaching side of learning, you want to spark that flame in your learner. You want them to feel comfortable in the room of learning, so they want to stay a little bit longer. Good instructors spark the candle's flame. However, excellent instructors start a fire that rages before their learners, a fire that nothing can blow out. The fire that stays on and pushes the learner to do more and better. In academic terms, we call that fire motivation. The brain network that regulates how we engage in learning and how we stay motivated is the affective network. To engage the affective network, the learner should answer the big why question and also the what's in it for me question. To help learner with the answers, we should provide them with multiple means of engagement. Motivationally speaking, our learners might arrive with different interests different understanding of how the presented material is relevant to their lives, different understanding of what is easy and what is difficult, or different ways to cope with the learning process. Our job is then to meet them where they are and either start the fire of motivation or help, help them keep it burning. So let's discuss some ways we can achieve that. The strategies are grouped into three categories. We as instructors should provide options for recruiting interest, self-regulation, and sustaining effort and persistence. Information that does not draw learner's attention is in fact inaccessible because it goes unnoticed. Nobody accesses it. Some way of encouraging students' interest in the topic might be by allowing choice and personalization into learning materials and assessments. The choice of the topic or even the whole assignment would create an opportunity for the learner to introduce more relevance to their learning and make it their own and stay motivated for more. Learners many times lose their motivation in learning because they don't recognize their own progress. They are too close to their own learning and are many, time, many times unable to see they have developed and improved over time. The instructor's role is then to provide the learners with opportunities to identify their learning. Some of the ways are frequent and specific feedback, opportunities to self-assess, rubrics, checklists, and so. Learning can occur when learners become and stay motivated. Stay is the key part here. The initial motivational value of an attention getter can carry a learner only so far. If a learner is not motivated to continue the effort, no learning can happen. Some ways to motivate the learner to continue in their learning process is to ask to formulate their short and long-term goals. Just plain formulation of the goal can help a learner stay engaged as the reminder of their goal gives them the reason why they're doing what they're doing. Another way to regulate learners' motivation can be to include activities with varying challenge levels. Learners enter learning environment with different levels of previous knowledge and with different needs for challenge. Somebody needs to be challenged more, somebody can only stay so much of challenge. By providing different difficulty levels, an instructor will reach and motivate more learners. To summarize, learning occurs when fire is started and is kept burning, or in other words, when a learner becomes and stays motivated. To accomplish that, an instructor should provide options to obtain attention and interest, sustain learner's effort, and assist the learner with self-regulation. Before we leave you for today, let's give you some food for thought. Think about, in your learning environment, about activities where you could provide more opportunities for personalization. Think about it. Also think about how you can improve the ways you give feedback to your learners. Think about it. And also, which of your activities 
you can offer in multiple difficulty levels. Thank you for watching.